Uh, let's see. I actually meant to upload a video a few days ago, probably around Tuesday, but unfortunately the video didn't turn out. So I thought I'd just uh, create one today. Unfortunately, I've been really busy, so I haven't had a chance to really uh, make one until now. So let's see. Last video I kind of talked about, uh, watched well, the video that I wasn't able to post, talked about the weekend that we had. It was interesting to say the least. What we did was we went out to the Pacific Coast, rented a car, and drove out there with the little GPS and everything. It was pretty neat. That worked out really, really, really well. Well, the GPS anyways. Uh, the vehicle, when we first got it, it was kind of sh uh, shuddering as we drove. And uh, we thought it was just the road and maybe the tires were out of alignment and such. Um, when we got about an hour and a half away to the actual port where the ferry was, we missed the ferry, unfortunately, so we started to drive along. This guy drove up beside us and was like waving us down and telling us the wheel was wobbling. I'm like, what do you mean? The front driver side wheel was like just kind of moving back and forth. So we thought that was pretty, it might have been maybe something loose. So we pulled over, I uh, tightened the uh, lug nuts and stuff, and it was like one or two, but that really wasn't the issue. Uh, we drove into a gas station. We tried to call the uh, rental company four times, twice from a cell, twice from a payphone, and no one answered. It would just ring and ring and ring, and then it would cut you off. Not a little uh, disconcerting, because we didn't know quite what to do, so we just got this uh, nice fellow. He uh, actually took the tire off, took a look at it, put it on the balancer, and when he did that, the tire started to wobble. So we decided, okay, no video, we have a spare. So we went to go get the spare, take the spare off, the spare had a big chunk of rubber out of it. So we're like, okay, great, now what? So the guy's like, no problem. He switched the spare tire, which was crappy, but had a good rim, with the good tire with the crappy rim. And then we put it on. So we lost like an hour of uh, our weekend to that. And it cost about $6 to have it repaired, so it wasn't too bad at all. Mm, six to eight dollars. Uh, once we did that, we jumped back in the car, drove, and rather than going to the ferry, we just thought, screw it, we'll just drive all the way around. So, uh, we drove up around this little bay, well, it's a large bay, and, because <coughs> he's a ferry to get across it normally. Um, so it took us probably five hours to get where we wanted to go. Uh, we left at like seven in the morning, eight in the morning, and we didn't really get to where we wanted to go until because uh, of all the craziness, uh, driving around, trying to figure, find everything. Finally got there at 4 o'clock, one of the beaches. Now we were looking for this beautiful sandy white beaches that we were told all uh, that uh, this area that we were pointed in uh, the direction of. Uh, we didn't find any. Uh, we found really rocky beaches and stuff. I guess if we would have gone north because we went up, up and around and down and probably stopped about halfway up the coast again. Uh, if we would have went a, f a little bit further north, we would have probably found a lot of nice white sandy beaches and what else would we have found? Oh, there's also a resort up there, so that would have been kind of nice to actually see too. But all we saw were some rocky beaches. We went to <coughs> Montezuma, which was another beach just uh, on the other side. Once we got there, it was getting really dark, so we just jumped on the beach real quick, checked it out. Again, another rocky beach. No big deal. It still looks really nice. Got some really nice pictures and stuff. Saw some dead fish. Um, stopped in a really nice restaurant. Had some food. Shopped for a bit. Didn't buy anything. Came back. And we didn't get back until 1.30, something like that. So... Interesting weekend. Saturday, or sorry, Sunday, we took the vehicle back and we talked to budget. And we were a little upset with the fact that, hey, they gave us a really crappy vehicle and there was no support. So, what do you do? So, what we did is uh, we were expecting like some kind of uh, adjustment of some sort. All they gave us was $6 for the uh, tire repair. Yep. Not too impressed. So, we emailed the company to see what what happened, we haven't heard anything yet, I guess we'll have to give them a call to see if they could fix it, because six bucks, I don't know, anyways, um, this week's been really, really busy, um, we got most of the training done, actually pretty much everything done, today's actually our last day, um, when I was looking at the schedule, I originally thought we were training Tuesday and Mon uh, Monday and Tuesday as well, but, uh, Christine and Jeff kind of 
took a look at the schedule again and kind of corrected me on that, which was kind of nice. Then I was asking the, um, uh, the site here about uh, something that was happening Monday. And they're like, oh, by the way, we're not uh, training on Monday. We have 80 new agents coming in for another project that need to train, and we need the training room. So um, you're going to have to get everything trained uh, today and Friday. So this was yesterday, of course. So that was a bit of a shock. We didn't expect that. But, of course, the great trainers that we are, we're going to get through all the material. Just we probably won't get as much practicing as we wanted to get in with the agents. But mm, what can you do? So today I've got most of everything done. I just need to cover a few more courses and we're all confused about these tests. They're supposed to be the schedule says the final the LMS program that we're using has the week three test. So as soon as we figure that out we should be better. Hopefully it's just the one the one test because if not it'll be up two hours of my day and that'd be like an hour of practicing gone, which I'd like to actually keep. Um, other than that, things are going great. Uh, hopefully this weekend we'll be able to do something fun. Uh, thankfully, with the fact that the training's over, when we start doing the floor support, I'll be able to uh, sleep in a little bit more, because we've been doing about two hours of prep time and our eight-hour class, so two weeks, ten-hour days, five days a week. It's a little draining, but the weekends have been nice to kind of blow steam off, which has been a lot of fun. If they only had a paintball field down here, it'd be perfect. Um, oh, we stopped off at a Denny's, by the way, on Friday night when we picked up the vehicle. It's like, yeah, we have freedom, so we start driving around and such. And we uh, we got to uh, go to a Denny's, which was kind of nice. They had a, a big uh, dance bar right beside, and they had this huge sign. It was funny, uh, something about prostitution. I couldn't quite read it, but uh, Jeff and I got our pictures taken beside it, which was kind of nice. It was funny. We're all pouting. Anyways, um, that's pretty much it for now. Hope to do some more videos, upload some more a little bit later. Anyways, have fun, take care, and keep an eye out for the videos.